So in December of 2020, I broke down and bought myself a real tractor, sort of. This is an RK24. It's got the same engine as a John Deere 1025, slightly better specs, slightly better options. Bad news is it's sold by Rural King. So everybody's questioning what the service will be like. The good news is I haven't needed service other than the 50-hour service, which they did without any trouble. Bought the trailer from my neighbor for $600. Um, probably worth it. Love the tractor. Trailer's iffy. Because we have this $20,000 tractor, it's time to build a shed on our property. And because I have the tractor, I used it as much as I could. Used it to dig up the foundation. I bought a crane for this tractor so that I could use it to lift the trusses in the place. Started with a pallet to uh, be lifted by the pallet forks. On this pallet, I attached a Harbor Freight winch and a mast held in place by stay cables. This was basically the proof of concept test. I was pleased. I sped this up because it's boring. So I hoisted the trusses up on my crane and lowered it down so it rested on my pallet on the pallet fork and drove it over to the shed. Once at the shed, it's a simple matter, matter for the crane just to lift the truss up above the walls and I drive it through. Yes, for those keeping score at home, the mast is a little crooked. I could have fixed that by adjusting the turnbuckles on my stay cables, but if something works, don't fix it. And yeah, it was a little sketchy, but I really never felt uncomfortable. You can see I fixed some spacer blocks to the truss, so spacing was easy, I just drove it forward until I hit the truss behind it. I did buy some wall jacks to help raise the walls. Use the tractor to lift up the OSB to the roof. That worked so well, I used it to lift up the shingles too. I got translucent corrugated fiberglass to make windows on three of the four sides. Did the vinyl siding myself, was pleased with how that came out too. And here it is with the sliding doors painted up nicely. 